and now we've found the uh, method that we're trying to call uh, there's still a couple of final checks that the compiler does and these um, are the common sort of things we've covered them already basically and um, uh, just illustrates it here and I'll split this up into two columns so um, let's start and have a look at the first call here uh, this is an error and the reason for that is um, this is a static method and uh, this is an instance method here and you can't uh, can't call an instance from a static like that so it's an error okay what if you try and go through a variable well that's an error as well because uh, you can't get it my C that way uh, because it's an instance variable uh, if you want to do it you can do it this way though because uh, that's a static variable so that's available from this static context and it uh, refers to C so you can certainly call M like that what happens of course is that the um, the uh, this parameter which gets passed in is going to be my static C basically when you're in M right um, super no you can't use super in a static context and you can't use this in static context uh, Q right well that will call that one which is static so that's okay rather than that one which would not be it calls that one of course because it's got no parameters right uh, void void M uh, super M Right, that's an error because um, our super M is going to direct it, <coughs> going to direct it up here, and uh, that method's abstract, so that's an error. C dot test. Okay, class C test is static, so that's fine. That's the way to access a static uh, method. Right, Q uh, take an int. Um, that declaration's okay because although that's static uh, this has got a different uh, signature so effectively it's a completely different method even though it shares the same method name uh, that uh, different signature is enough to make it effectively different um, my static dot m okay right well this is a, an instance initialization block and um, my static dot m yep that's no problem and m by itself yeah that's no problem you can basically get it anything pretty much from here more or less uh, c dot m yeah mind you it may well may well blow up on some of these but uh, it gets past the compiler uh, static static uh, what have we got here um, straightforward call to M well that's going to be an error because you're in a static context in trying to call this instance method uh, my C is equal to something or other well no you haven't got any access to my C because that's an instance variable my C dot M uh, again it's an instance variable you can't go using it uh, at least you can't use it like that you have to go through some other static route uh, Q. Q by itself, let's have a look, uh, that's uh, that's there, that's okay, that's a static uh, static method Q passing in 1 is going to try and call that, you can't because it's an instance method you've got static void uh, P, now uh, that's an error because because that's, a, that's an instance uh, method and uh, you're trying to override it with a static method you can't do that 